Chapter 2. Mark Miller. Miss Jules rang her cowbell. I would like you to meet Mark Miller, she said. He and his family just moved here all the way from Macedonia. Everyone stared at the new kid. He stood at the front of the room. His knees were shaking. He hated having to stand in front of the class. It was as if Miss Jules had brought him in for show and tell. He felt like some kind of weirdo. He just wanted to sit at a desk and be like everybody else. But worst of all, his name wasn't Mark Miller. He was Benjamin Nushmutt, and he had moved from Hempleton, not Macedonia. But he was too scared to mention that to Miss Jules. He was afraid to correct a teacher. Why don't you tell the class a little bit about yourself, Mark? suggested Miss Jules. Benjamin didn't know what to say. He wished he really was Mark Miller. Mark Miller probably wouldn't be scared, he thought. He'd probably have lots to say. Everyone would like him. Nobody would think Mark Miller was weird. Well, I guess we'd better find you a place to sit, said Miss Jules. She put him at an empty desk between Todd and Bibi. Hi, Mark, said Todd. I'm Todd. You'll like Miss Jules. She's the nicest teacher in the school. Todd, no talking, said Miss Jules. Go write your name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Hi, Mark, said Bibi. I'm Bibi Gunn. Hi, Benjamin said quietly. He decided he'd have to tell Miss Jules his real name at recess. He cringed. He didn't know why, but for some reason he had trouble saying his own name. And what's your name, little boy? An adult would ask him. Benjamin Nushmutt, he'd answer. What? Benjamin Nushmutt? What? Benjamin Nushmutt. What? Benjamin Nushmutt. What? Benjamin Nushmutt. Oh, nice to meet you, Benjamin. He never knew what it was that made the person suddenly understand. When the bell rang for recess, everyone charged out of the room. Benjamin slowly walked to Miss Jewel's desk. Somehow he had to tell her. Miss Jules was sorting papers. Oh, hello, Mark, she said. How are you enjoying the class so far? Fine, said Benjamin. Good, I'm glad to hear that, said Mrs. Jules. Benjamin shrugged and walked out of the room. If I had told her my name, she would have thought I was weird for not telling her sooner, he realized. He stood at the top of the stairs and looked down. Recess was only ten minutes long. It didn't seem worth it to go all the way down and then come all the way back up. He didn't have any friends down there anyway. He'd never, he had never been more unhappy in his whole life. He sat on the top step. Mark Miller, he said out loud. It was an easy name to say. Mark Miller probably would have made lots of friends by now, he thought. Suddenly, he heard a low rumble, and then the stairs began to shake. It felt like an earthquake. This whole stupid school is going to fall over, he thought. He put his head between his knees. The rumbling got worse. I'm going to die and nobody will even know who I am, he worried. The new kid, Mark Miller, the weirdo. But it wasn't an earthquake, it was just all the kids running back up the stairs. <clears throat> hey Mark, why are you sitting that way? asked Dee Dee. She looked funny, said Ron. Benjamin looked up. How come you weren't at recess? asked Jason. We looked everywhere for you. Couldn't find you at the playground? asked Calvin. Couldn't find the playground? asked Calvin. It's just straight down, said BB. You can't miss it. But don't go in the basement, warned Sherry. Whatever you do, don't go in the basement. We'll go down together at lunch, said Todd. That way you won't get lost. Benjamin smiled. He was glad everyone seemed to like him, or at least they liked Mark Miller. He wondered if they'd like Benjamin Nushmutt, too. The bell is rung, said Miss Jules, standing in the doorway. Now everyone get inside. She made Todd put a check next to his name on the board for being late. Miss Jules handed a stack of worksheets to Damon and asked him to pass them out to the rest of the class. Benjamin looked at his worksheet. At the top right corner, there was a place to put his name. He didn't know which name to put there, Mark Miller or Benjamin Nushmutt. He left it blank and started working on the first problem. Lewis, the yard teacher, entered the room carrying a white paper sack. Benjamin forgot his lunch, he said. His mother just brought it. Who? asked Miss Jules. Benjamin, said Lewis. Oh, there's no Benjamin in my class, said Mrs. Jules. Are you sure? asked Lewis. It looks like a good lunch. I know the names of the children in my class, Miss Jules said. Well, I'll just leave it here until I figure this out, said Lewis. He left the lunch on Miss Jules' desk and walked out of the room. Benjamin frowned. He looked at the white paper sack on Miss Jules' desk. He couldn't tell Miss Jules' real name now. She'd think he was making it up just to get a free lunch. 
He wrote Mark Miller at the top of the worksheet, but one of these days he knew he'd have to tell her his real name.